Welcome to 3ds Max news and this is a special one because we had 3ds Max 2023 update 1 with a lot of new features. Let's start. Splines get the equivalent of a smart extrude. What you love on polymodeling comes to splines. So you are using shift plus drag to extrude knots or spline segments. Works together with move, rotate or a scale. Also now selecting a knot with shift and drag, you will extend your spline. How sweet it is. As in editable poly, now to clone a segment or a spline, you have to do shift, control and drag. Isolate has been improved. Now when you isolate with Alt plus Q, by default will not do a zoom extend anymore. Your perspective will stay the same, just isolating what you have selected. And now Alt plus Q is a toggle. If you don't change your selection or you don't have anything selected at all, pressing again Alt plus Q will exit isolation mode. On the icon for isolation, now you can toggle and switch between zoom extend or not. There are a new triangulation algorithm that prevents invert or collapsed triangles. It generates more regular triangles and tries to avoid long and thin triangles that in the past was causing errors and weird things on the mesh. Shamfar and Smart Extrude are the first two to use this new algorithm. And also Smart Extrude gets other improvements dealing with concave areas and others responding as you will expect on even more complicated areas. And performance. This update comes with a lot of performance in a speed in a lot of areas. The Morpher is 4 to 40 times faster, a Skin Modifier is 30 to 90% faster, Turbo Smooth is close to 2 times faster, Alembic has been updated to 1.8.3 that is 25 to 65% faster. Thanks to all these tests done by Shang Tso Eun, check his webpage because he had a lot of cool stuff there. But there is even more if we read the release notes. Remember, I have these links on the description below. We can see that the playback speed with animated backgrounds, if the source image is using sRGB or a Gamma 2.2, is 2 to 3 times faster overall. Merging max files with a lot of objects is significantly faster. When you open a 3ds Max file, you will see that now we have a progress bar. Also, the icon on the 3ds Max will show the progress amount and the time that it takes to load all this uh, scene. This is using a new 3ds Max API that has been improved on update 1. Any third-party tool can use this API to showcase or display progress of any other plugin. Vertex modifier has a new button that is called Capture. It will copy all existing vertex colors that exist under the current vertex point modifier to be able to modify it. So as you can see on the video, you can capture the state below and then add, subtract, blur or do whatever. But there is way more and Fault Optimize to relax UV data can use now an active selection to limit where you want to apply this relax. Material Library now allow to save to older versions from Max 2020 to 2023. Perspective match allow the use of distorted view, so the camera will be distorted in a non-uniform way for better match of your reference image. On editable spline, now if you change a knot to a smooth bezier or bezier corner, will automatically change the adjacent spline knots to the curve that you define. V-Ray 6 Beta is now available for 3ds Max. The big news for this beta is a new scatter system to generate all types of scatters that can be saved on Chaos Cosmos as a preset, and some of them are already available on, on Chaos Cosmos. A new cloud system with animatable clouds that reacts to different light conditions with different parameters to animate them, different types of clouds, uh, pretty cool. A new modifier called InMesh allowed to distribute any geometry using the UVs of another object. V-Ray decals can add displacement, V-Ray Proxy Objects now has a hierarchy structure and you can turn on off objects inside your V-Ray Proxy and assign different materials to each object there. Improve V-Ray Material Experience, faster UI for the materials that I imagine that it's because they transition to Qt interface, enhance materials with V-Ray Materials Energy Preservation, a thin film layer property, a new ground projection inside Dome Light to have more control on your HDRI image. And for one of the best overviews of these new theaters, check out Adam Martin's channel. Some of these videos are from him. He deployed a complete 50 minutes. It's in Spanish, but um, at uh, translation because it's really, really good. A very professional guy, Adam Martin. If you don't know him, uh, yeah, totally worth it to check him out because uh, great stuff. 
Storm 0.6 has been released. It's an independent tool by my friend Sebastian Schaeffer that allows to simulate now cloth with automatic tearing, ability to create cloth constraints created by groups or merge together. You can merge constraints together, visualizer for constraints, inflation for cloth, added as, added as spline imports and exports, and a lot of new nodes for all types of effects. The tool plays very nicely with 3ds Max, allowing to import or export OBJs, Alembic files, PRTs, or VDBs. So if you need a tool to simulate a stuff, it's a great tool. Black Ray has been in development for some years, but now we know that the beta will come in some weeks. Black Ray is a real-time renderer inside 3ds Max, can make use of advanced real-time techniques like a screen space reflection, right trace reflections and shadows, GI, motion blur, and way more in real time. You can see it here in action on this teaser for the upcoming tool. Norberto Aguilera shared the script that he's using to create all types of secondary motion in 3ds Max. The script is totally free and also he showcased it in different cool animations and some of these animations you can as well download it for free so you can check how he's rigging it and they are sort of a tutorial to use his tools. Very cool stuff. More tutorials for animation. Lars Balansmir Torsbait, I hope that I pronounced your name right, is creating a very complete course to create rigs in 3ds Max for mechanical machines. It's something that I don't see so much and this course is really, really great. So far he created three tutorials, but he will keep adding more and more. And he's using a freaking model that you can download it for free as well. And he will be showing how to do from a scratch a complete FK IK rig with multiple controls. The UI is at the table and yeah, great, great, and a very complete course for rigging. Chaos Group also is releasing a very detailed and elaborate tutorial covering Phoenix, the physical simulation that does smoke and fluids in 3ds Max. Uh, so far, the first one is available. It's covering the basics, but it's very good. A lot of cool examples and a very elaborate tutorial. Favorite section, 3ds Max is only for RGB. We have Justin Grant posting on Aria this amazing car shot inspired by the movie Top Gun Maverick. And what I like most of this shot is that looking on the wireframe, it's a relatively low poly scene. And I think most of the intensity and the drama of the image uh, using a very smart use of textures and lighting. And by the way, he was using FStorm for rendering. Very cool stuff. More cool stuff from Omar Fernandez. It's a lead generalist at ILM and share this nice Battlestar Galactica scene that is on in 3ds Max, rendered in V-Ray with Substance Painter for textures. And Lucas Piacini created this environment that is a recreation from a movie of Harry Potter. He did it for his scores and yeah, it's awesome. He nailed the job. I don't know if there was a punctuation, but so good stuff. Difficult to differentiate what is CG and what is the reference. One of these two images, one is the reference. The other one, he totally replaced the background by his own. And yeah, uh, it looks fantastic. On Art Station, he covers the process that he followed to arrive to the final image with a lot of screenshots on types of materials, some suggestions. He was using 3ds Max, V-Ray, After Effects and Photoshop. Super cool stuff. And that's all for the month. Uh, it's only two weeks since the last 3ds Max news, but because we had the 3ds Max 2023 update one, I found that it would be interesting to have this video before normally. Uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff anyways uh, for only being two weeks, a lot of cool stuff on 3ds Max update one and more stuff to come. Uh, follow, you can join the beta if you want and you are interested to try new stuff coming to 3ds Max. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons that makes these videos possible. It helps me tremendously. And on Patreon, I am sharing different stuff with Typeflow, different tutorials that are exclusively for my Patreons. And if you want to ask me any specific thing, you can ask me on Patreon and I will try to help you as much as I can. Thank you so much, guys, and see you soon. Bye.